I think most students understood the evaluating part. We were pretty good on that. Most students were able to evaluate. I feel a sneeze coming up. <coughs> Bless you, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so every student was pretty good about evaluating, by plugging in the value. So we know that A equals 12, B equals 9, and C equals 4, right? So therefore, what I like to do is make sure I put them in parentheses. So I have B equals 9, so that would be 9 squared, minus 2 times C, which was 4 squared, divided by A, which is 12, plus C, which is 4, and then minus B. Let's keep this consistent, right? All right. So as you guys can see from here, uh, B isn't 4, B is 9. Huh? B is 9. Yeah, that's supposed to be 9. Um, so as you guys look at this, everybody, most students were able to get to this point. You know the values of A, B, and C, so you plug them in. But now we need to look at, again, by final order operations. Now in this problem, do we have any parentheses or any grouping symbols? No, so we don't need to follow any operations first within the grouping symbols. So the next thing is what we call in order operations is exponents or powers. So the next thing we need to do is we need to apply the powers. And I'll tell you the number one mistake students did is they multiplied 2 times 4. By following the order of operations, we do not do multiplication before we do powers, right? It's parentheses and then exponents. So we have to apply every single exponent or power before we can do multiply, dividing, adding, and subtracting. Does that make sense? So everybody in their, in their problem should have had, so we do 9 squared, I'll just do it over here, 81 minus 2 times 4 squared, which is 16, divided by 12 plus 4 minus 9. All right, that was the critical step. That's where most students went wrong, was they did not do the squaring. They did not, not um, squaring, but they did not apply the powers first. Now, once you do the powers, it's multiplication and division from left to right. And we're going to, when we have a rational expression, we're going to simplify our numerator, simplify our denominator, and then simplify the whole expression. So I have 2 times 16 is 32. So I have 81 minus 32. And then I can just do this together. 12 plus 4, we always go from left to right. 12 plus 4 is going to be 16 minus 9 is going to be 7. Well, 81 minus 42 is 49 divided by 7, and 49 divided by 7 equals 7. So that should have been your final answer. All right? Again, if you made a mistake, even a small little mistake or a major mistake, make sure you guys write down the correct solution for that. Oh, I'm sorry. So you couldn't find it.